I had a chance to talk to local Democratic Party leader Colleen Condon to get her thoughts about the potential chance of a South Carolina judge being nominated to the U.S. Supreme Court. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a judge who's respected by both sides of the bar, who's actually knows what real life America is like, knows what South Carolina is like. Condon says Child's background is incredible. Judge Childs will be one of uh, the few South Carolinians to serve on the Supreme Court. She went to USC School of Law. She didn't just practice in the, on the federal bench, but she's also been a workers comp commissioner and a state court judge. She has worked for people of South Carolina against corporate failures and is really just known as a consensus builder and a logical thinker. We would be so fortunate to have her on the bench. Childs moved to Columbia at 13, where she attended Columbia High School. She has degrees from the University of South Florida, the University of South Carolina School of Law, the University of South Carolina School of Business, and from Duke University's School of Law. House Majority Whip James Clyburn has been discussing her potential nomination to replace a justice on the Supreme Court since early last year. I think that President Biden very uh, seriously respects Whip Clyburn, and so I think that consideration is, is uh, should be high on the president's list of priorities. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham had some high praise this weekend. I can't think of a better person. She's considered to be a fair-minded, highly uh, gifted uh, jurist. I feel very good, especially with Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott both being supportive of her as a candidate. I think it gives us the number of votes that she'll need to get approved by the U.S. Senate. No word yet on when President Biden might officially nominate someone to that position on the Supreme Court. In North Charleston, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.